Hi, I'm Gary Nicholson, and today um, we're going to take a little look at string binding on the guitar. So for this lesson, um, my guitar is in standard tuning. It's when you're taking the note that you're fretting, and you're bending the string to alter the pitch of that note. So for this, you're going to want to use sort of lower down your finger than you would normally use. If you use the tip of your finger, you run the risk of actually getting your finger caught under the string above that you're... Um, above the string that you're actually bending and then you can get all sorts of noise coming out of that um, when you're coming off your bend. Um, so when you're bending the sort of lower three strings you're going to want to use, um, you want to bend up the way for that because if you bend down the way you end up getting that, you fall off the fretboard and same for the other three strings you're going to want to bend down the way for those ones because if you bend up the way you end up again going off the fretboard and getting those sort of dead note sounds. So we're going to take a hand like this and have it straight out from the neck like that. And what you're gonna to wanna to do is get used to this sort of movement, the sort of almost pendulum type movement. And what you're wanting is for the bit of, ha of the sort of chubby bit of your hand near your pinky, that's gonna be wanting to come up closer towards the fretboard. We're now gonna start trying to do the same movement with our hand, with our fingers on the actual fretboard. So for this, we're playing the seventh fret of our G string and we're gonna use our third finger for this. The reason why is um, so that we can have the support of our middle finger beside it to help push it up. Because on its own it can be quite weak and your bends become sort of a little bit shaky. But just get used to picking that note and then trying to lift that bit of your hand up towards the fretboard. Notice in this case I've got my thumb coming over the top. A lot of time people tell you not to do that. But for bends it actually helps a lot with the support. And notice that I'm not actually um, straight, straightening out those fingers there. They're still staying bent. And it's this bit of my hand that's coming up towards the fretboard. So practice just doing that, don't worry about what note you're hitting, but just get used to that movement because that'll take a bit of time to get used to. So for the half bend, what this actually is, is we're taking the note that we're playing and we're putting up um, half a semitone, no oh, sorry, a semitone, which is half of a tone. <clears throat> and in terms of your guitar, it's the next fret that you're wanting to get the note to play. So for this, we're playing the 7th of the G and we want to make it sound like the 8th fret of the G. So once you practice that, we can now look at how we can use this in, in your actual playing. So one really common way it's used is in your pentatonic scale. It's used at this point exactly actually to play what is the, um, the blues note, which is the note that's between the fourth and fifth of your scale. So you'll hear this sort of lick a lot and we'll go over what it is in a second. So this sort of... So I'm just taking that note there and just bending up slightly and then going up the pentatonic. that for the half bend you're not really having to bend it that far so it's a nice and easy place to start so that's basically um, it for this lesson however if you're wanting to find out more about all the different sorts of bends um, such as pre-bends full bends and um, bend and release then uh, be sure to check out some of the next videos in this series and uh, i'll catch you guys next time